Maurice Frechet was a French mathematician. He made major contributions to the topology of point sets and introduced the entire concept of metric spaces. He also made several important contributions to the field of statistics and probability, as well as calculus. His dissertation opened the entire field of functionals on metric spaces and introduced the notion of compactness. Independently of Ries, he discovered the representation theorem in the space of Leber's gay square integrable functions. Biography Early life He was born to a Protestant family in Maligny, Yontajac and Zedoe Acute Freche, at the time of his birth. His father was a director of a Protestant orphanage in Maligny and was later in his youth appointed a head of a Protestant school. However, the newly established Third Republic was not sympathetic to religious education and so the laws were enacted requiring all education to be secular. As a result, his father lost his job. To generate some income his mother set up a boarding house for foreigners in Paris. His father was able later to obtain another teaching position within the circular system. It was not a job of a headship, however, and the family could not expect as high standards as they might have otherwise. Morris attended the secondary school Lycée Buffon in Paris where he was taught mathematics by Jacques Hadamard. Hadamard recognized the potential of young Morris and decided to tutor him on an individual basis. After Hadamard moved to the University of Bordeaux in 1894, Hadamard continuously wrote to Frechet, setting him mathematical problems and harshly criticizing his errors. Much later Frechet admitted that the problems caused him to live in a continual fear of not being able to solve some of them. Even though he was very grateful for the special relationship with Hadamard he was privileged to enjoy. After completing high school Frechet was required to enroll in the military service. This is the time when he was deciding whether to study mathematics or physics. He chose mathematics out of dislike of chemistry classes he would have had to take otherwise. Thus in 1900 he enrolled to École Normale Supérieure to study mathematics. He started publishing quite early, having published four papers in 1903. He also published some of his early papers in the American Mathematical Society due to his contact with American mathematicians in Paris, particularly Edwin Wilson. Middle life Frechet served at many different institutions during his academic career. From 1907-1908 he served as a professor of mathematics at the Lycée in Bissancon, then moved in 1908 to the Lycée in Nantes to stay there for a year. After that he served at the University of Poitiers between 1910-1919. He married in 1908 to Suzanne Carive and had four children, Eline, Henry, Denise and Alain. First World War Frechet was planning to spend a year in the United States at the University of Illinois, but his plan was disrupted when the First World War broke out in 1914. He was mobilized on 4 August the same year, because of his diverse language skills, gained when his mother ran the establishment for foreigners. He served as an interpreter for the British Army. However, this was not a safe job and he spent two and a half years very near or at the front. The French egalitarian ideas meant that very many academics were mobilized to serve in the trenches and many of them were lost during the war. It is remarkable that during his service in the war he still managed to produce frequent cutting-edge mathematical papers, even with very little time available to devote to mathematics. After the war After the end of the war, Frechet was chosen to go to Strasbourg to help with the re-establishment of the university. He served as a professor of higher analysis and director of the Mathematics Institute. Despite being burdened with administrative work, he was again able to produce a large amount of high-quality research. In 1928 Frechet decided to move back to Paris, thanks to encouragement from Burrell, who was then chair in the Calculus of Probabilities and Mathematical Physics at the Sorbonne. Frechet briefly held a position of lecturer at the Sorbonne's Rockefeller Foundation and from 1928 was a professor. 
Frechet was promoted to tenured chair of general mathematics in 1933 and to chair of differential and integral calculus in 1935. From 1928 to 1935 Frechet was also put in charge of lectures at the École Normale Supérieure. In this latter capacity Frechet was able to direct a significant number of young mathematicians toward research in probability, including Dobler, Fortit, Lover and Bill. Despite his major achievements, Frechet was not overly appreciated in France. As an illustration, while being nominated numerous times, he was not elected a member of the Academy of Sciences until the age of 78. In 1929 he became foreign member of the Polish Academy of Science and Arts and in 1950 foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Frechet was an Esperantist, publishing some papers and articles in that constructed language. He also served as president of the Internatia Science OA Socio Esperantista from 1950 to 53. Main works His first major work was his outstanding PhD thesis that he submitted in 1906. The thesis was titled Sur Quelks Points to Calcule Functional and was concerned with the calculus of functionals. Here Frechet introduced the concept of a metric space, although the name is due to Hausdorff. The level of abstraction used by Frechet is similar to that in group theory, allowing one to develop an axiomatic system to study a large array of mathematical objects. The system can then be applied in very many particular cases. Frechet developed here ideas from the article De types fondamento de distribution statistique of Czech geographer, demographer and statistician Jaromir Korkak. Here is a list of his most important works, in chronological order, Sur les opérations linéaires I3, 1904-1907, Les espaces abstraites, 1928, Recherches terriques modernes sur la théorie des probabilités, 1937-1938, Les probabilités associées à un système d'événements compatibles et dépendants, 1939-1943. Pages quasis d'analyse générale, 1953. Les mathématiques c'est le concrete, 1955. Frechet is sometimes credited with the introduction of what is now known as the Cramier Qutarel bound. But Frechet's 1940s lecture notes on the topic appear to have been lost.